bet you thought I was out at sea for a second, didn't you? Or down on the harbour, but... We put up this big boat in Trafalgar Square, just outside the National Gallery. And it's because, you know, they're saying that they're going around the world. This is a round-the-world race or something. And uh, it's called Race of Your Life. And it's sponsored by Land Rover. It's sponsored by a company called Arm. I've never heard of those, but they sound rather intimidating. And Grange Hotels. But this, see, there's a hidden thing here. It says Great Britain and Northern Ireland. That word great with the red, red on it, that is actually sponsorship from the British Council. And the British Council are rather curious, rather... It's not really secret, it's kind of like an open secret. That they basically just work on international relations, the British Council. And they have this sort of tagline of like, everything's great, great Britain. Yeah, this is a great place for investment and business, is what they're talking about. And I've, I've been trying not to talk about this myself, but it's just a matter of time before it happens. So uh, something strange has appeared behind me, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah it's fucking fucking blue chicken in Trafalgar Square and you really 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 don't want to know what it means I mean I have to talk to tourists about that thing I would just say oh it's big fucking blue chicken obviously I don't say fucking I try not to anyway I use the French word or, or the Italian for big fucking blue chicken uh, but of course, uh, the actual meaning of it is uh, written on the on the sign at the bottom. <laughs> and um, it is apparently it's done by a feminist artist. It is apparently a. Um, an insinuation that Nelson's column is in fact a great big chicken is <laughs> a great big penis uh, to do with the you know victory in war and male pride and all that kind of stuff hence the cock rule and it's really it's really just a blight on the landscape to be honest um, strangely enough I think you know the, the pigeons have actually started to worship it they all like they all get really calm when they're when they're near the the blue chicken, they, they just sort of, they just chill out. I mean, look at that guy. They're all just like really chilled. Chilling out near the blue chicken. It's like they're God. It's like a demigod. I think I'm gonna walk to the British Council, give you, uh, give you a look at it. It's sort of hidden away around the corner here. And in the meantime, while, while I'm, I've decided that my videos are a lot more exciting, if I like cross busy roads, like when the green man isn't showing, this makes the like, you know, really interesting videos. Or maybe just stand in the road as the green man turns into the red man. Like now, like there are buses literally going to drive straight at me in like three seconds. No, oh, it's a bit boring, actually, isn't it? Or should I just should I just cross the main road while the traffic's coming? Should I do it? I've been doing it. <laughs> now, while I'm walking to the British Council, I'm going to tell you about a thing called Brownian motion. And this, uh, strangely enough, has got nothing to do with John Brown. Although, I mean, actually, John Brown is something to do with Brownian motion. Brownian motion. Uh, was discovered by some scientist called Brown and he noticed that under a microscope tiny tiny little bits of pollen were moving around in a very erratic and random fashion and he couldn't account for the movement of the pollen. Uh, Einstein however could, he said that they were invisible things known as atoms uh, knocking about, these the atoms of the um, of the air knocking around the pollen particles under a microscope and you could see it was creating this random fashion so the pollen was moving and nobody really knew why uh, apart from Einstein and he re realized that there was this hidden force 
moving stuff about. And I think that's relevant to John Brown because, of course, back in 2010, he was made, or was it 2011, he was made part of uh, David Cameron's cabinet. And, of course, he's in there. Sorry, I have to show you this. Look. Please do not climb on the horse. What horse? That freaking horse there, that blinking horse that that lady is trying to put a hat on. There's a big fucking white horse there. There's a lot of symbology about horses and stuff, isn't there? Mark Wallinger. Now look, this is it. The, uh, the British Council. It's sort of hidden away, creating opportunity worldwide. Now I wouldn't be surprised at all if uh, John Brown was associated with the uh, British Council or liaises with the British Council. I, I imagine he's probably required to liaise with the British Council. Um, yeah, see David Cameron appointed John Brown into his cabinet um, and John Brown supposedly is working on things like you know tuition fees and universities and stuff like that but he basically is there to inject business ethos into uh, the government and um, of course he's the frack master general but I really think in terms of accountability they put him in as a minister looking after uni university tuition fees so that he could schmooze meet all the people in the cabinet and uh, get into a position where Britain basically is being sold off internationally to whoever wants it. And um, when you look at things like that boat, the big fucking blue chicken, bearing in mind the blue chicken was chosen by the Greater London Authority who are conservative, which is their colour. The British Council has got four blue things. National Institute for Health and Care Excellence. Nice. I suspect that they're not really that nice in there though. Do you suspect the same? I really do. British fucking council. I think the whole thing of Brownian in motion, the movement of particles, is a very, very apt metaphor for the conspiracy. A lot of stuff happens in our world and nobody really understands the significance, especially the movement of ministers, the movement of business people, out of business, into government, and then out of government, into business. This is the, these are the kind of movements that seem to be random motion, but it's only after a few years when they get found out that we suddenly realize that it wasn't random motion, Brownian motion. It was in fact very specific, based on very specific forces and very specific tendencies that are to do with corruption and business, i.e. selling off Britain to whomever may buy it. And I'm going to end on the blue fucking chicken. <laughs>